take two bitches. Hi, it's been a while. If you're new here, hi, my name is Dana. I am an artist in Atlanta, Georgia, and I dabble in lots of different things, but I primarily do portrait and abstract work. And this is my little reintroduction video. I wanted to do something like specific to reintroducing myself because I really wanted to reset things over here on YouTube and refresh your expectations of what this channel is going to be. I've had my YouTube channel since 2017 and I spent about three, maybe four years really kind of grinding on it, you know? And I got to a point around the pandemic, like I think most people did, where I burned out. Um, it's been two years since I've posted on this channel and since then I've moved twice. I have a full-time job again. I'm still uh, working freelance on the side part-time, but life is very different from when you left me and I'm, I'm a little bit different, I think in good ways. I'm ready again to share my work and I've decided that YouTube is gonna be my chosen platform for doing that. So where have I been all this time? As I mentioned before, I've wanted to come back to YouTube uh, a few different times. I definitely started <laughs> a, a many videos uh, trying to get back into the flow of things, but honestly, it just never felt like the right time. I couldn't get myself to feel motivated behind the amount of effort it would take to like make the videos and post them. And I know that sounds kind of sad, but honestly, I think that I just got to a point where I needed to reprioritize for a little while and I made my peace with that. I think that it's helped me do some mental health work that I needed to do, but it also helped me um, evolve my relationship with art itself. There have been a few times in my life where the soul <laughs> was sucked out of art for me. And I think that I've been a little bit in that space for the past few years, um, particularly after I quit my old job. And I needed that time to recover from the burnout of a nine to five and the way that I was having to live my life at the time. Um, I'm very grateful to be in a position now where <sighs> I genuinely feel like everything in my life at the moment, for the most part, aligns with me. And there are still some things that I'm working on getting into better alignment, but for the most part, my life is very much crafted around the person that I am now, and I'm trying to do that with my YouTube channel as well. So with that said, I really want this channel to be less about making content and much more about documenting my evolution with my art, with myself as an artist, and also um, sharing my work because I figured out for myself some time ago um, after watching tons of YouTube videos about similar topics that I needed to basically choose a platform. The truth is that I think that part of my burnout from when I was still running my shop um, was that there was all of this pressure around posting to every social media and maximizing my audience and blah, 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 blah. And I just don't care anymore. <laughs> like I'm 35 and I just don't care anymore. What I do care about is sharing my work and I will continue to do that. It's not that I'm not going to post to Instagram. It's not that I'm not going to post to TikTok or, you know, whatever platform. Um, it's that I'm not concerned with doing things for the sake of posting anymore. But I do recognize that I do need to have some version of a presence. So if I had to pick a platform, YouTube is my platform. Truthfully, I really enjoy making videos. I enjoy editing videos. Like I get a kick out of 
putting my clips together and like making it something watchable. I really hope that coming back to YouTube and hopefully getting some better editing software will help that evolve as well into something um, more robust. I really like to expand my skill set when it comes to editing, but uh, besides that, I, I enjoy video as a means of documenting my artwork because I feel like it captures color and texture in a much more interesting way. I just, I really enjoy the way that my work looks when I'm videoing it as opposed to just taking a photo anyway. So I'm taking the pressure off. So in terms of like a schedule, there's not really gonna be one. Um, I'm going to aim for at least once a month, but I think in the long run, what's more important to me is that I'm not stressing myself behind it. And it's more about my art and my artistic process than it is about making sure that I'm getting some content out. You know what I mean? I think I've just gotten to a point where I'm no longer willing to compromise on the things that I'm able to have control over. I want to feel like I am organically living my life and I want to feel like I'm doing things because they align with where I am energetically, how I'm feeling that day, <laughs> um, what I want for myself in the long term, my, my bigger goals. Um, that's how I'm moving these days. And that's how I'm going to be moving with YouTube. So hopefully you're down with the, with the ride. I'm still going to be doing artist vlogs and studio vlogs. I might share some extra stuff. I don't know. Maybe. My goal is to finish the in practice series by summer of next year because I'm going to be moving and I need to be able to focus on just the moving process at that point. The other thing I'd like to do is have my website back up by the end of the year. So um, that's going to require me building up a portfolio of work, which I'm excited to do and share with you all. I probably won't immediately open my shop again. Um, the plan is to come back to the shop after the move. Ideally, I'd like to have a body of work for an abstracts section of my website and then a body of work for my portrait section. The other part about that is that I, for some time, and I know I've talked about this before, um, have wanted to figure out how to combine my two styles of work and I'm getting closer to that. I'm figuring that out a little bit more. So there's gonna be a lot of experimenting and playing around to try to figure out um, how that is going to work and come together and I'm excited to document that process. The next year specifically is going to be a developmental time period. So I'm, I'm really going to be focusing in on studying, learning, um, even in an academic way. Like I, I do think that I need to probably brush up on some art history, but this is all leading to the bigger goal of wanting to do an, ex an exhibition series um, and hopefully end up in galleries, um, maybe get some representation. I haven't gotten that deep into it just yet. I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time but the big goal is still to be a full-time artist, um, but just on my terms. And I'm letting myself figure out how that looks for me. So I'm excited. I'm excited that I feel some type of like reinvigoration uh, to make videos and to share. I am excited to be back. And I hope that you're looking forward to all that I'll be sharing with you. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Um, thank you for watching if you've made it this far. If you did, please leave like a little watermelon emoji in the comment section. That'd be cute. My goal is to get a new artist vlog out to you guys tomorrow, so be on the lookout. And I appreciate you joining me today. I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.